Hello friends, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying refrigeration and air conditioning. In the last video, I explained about the summer air conditioning process. Now in this video, we will see winter air conditioning system. Friends, this is the winter air conditioning system diagram. I explained one by one all the processes and all the processes have been drawn on the psychometric chart. This is a winter air conditioning system psychometric chart or psychometric processes. So friends, let's see what happens in the during the winter condition what happens? You know very well outside air temperature is very low. Outside air temperature is very low. So from the room heat loss will be there. From the room heat loss will be there. There is a heat loss of sensible heat loss and there is a latent heat loss. That means Due to the temperature difference, there is the heat loss that is sensible heat loss, and due to moisture conditions, there is a transfer of moisture from from the room to the outside. That's why during the winter condition you feel dry, your skin is dry now because of that only the moisture and temperature is reducing in the room. So, the air conditioning system or winter air conditioning system should be designed in such a way that the comfortable condition in a room can be maintained. If from the room sensible heat loss is there, that means temperature is reducing in a winter condition. In that case, the winter air condition the equipment or system should be designed to provide the warm air or heated air to the room. And if the moisture is reducing in the room, that is transferring to the surrounding, there is a latent heat loss. In that case, the winter air conditioning system should be designed in such a way that it should dehumidify the air and that air will send to the room. So to achieve the comfortable condition in a winter air condition, sorry, to achieve the comfortable condition in a room, a winter air condition is designed. Let's see from this point and this point. This is the outside air, this is the outdoor air or outside air, and this one is the recirculated air. The air which is coming from the room, we have taken some part and some, some air is exhausted. That means this is a ventilated air. The amount which is going out, the same amount I will take in. So this is a ventilation air, but it, there is in this case ventilation is there. So this air I, the circulated air and outdoor air O, will come and will mix at point number N. So, you see here, at point number I and point number O, from point number O, outdoor air will come, and from point number I, recirculated air will come. Both the air will mix at point M. Both the air will mix at point M. Now, preheater, the air which is mixed at point M, that air shall be preheated. That air shall be preheated. So the point number M, the, the air at point number M shall be preheated in winter air condition. So this heating will be M21, which is at constant omega, which is at constant omega. In this case, there is no change in the motion. Now from point number one. This air will go in the humidifier. This air will go into the humidifier. 
we can say it is a limit term or this process is happening in air washer in air washer or in humidifier there is a addition of moisture one to two in process one to two moisture content is increasing in a air so this window ac system so a winter air conditioning system is adding moisture to the air then now air is come at point number two after adding the moisture at point number two air has come you see here for process one to two temperature is also decreasing that means the sprayer which we are using the temperature of that sprayer is less than the this temperature at this point or you can say it is less than somewhere driver temperature not driver temperature it is less than this temperature that's why it is cooling so process 1 to 2 is a cooling at humidification now point number 2 at point number 2 the air again preheated and there is a sensible heating that means at constant omega heating is done to to s to to s there is a sensible heating. now this is the supply air and this is the inlet condition now this air will go to the room or conditioned space this air will go into the room or conditioned space as i already told in winter there is a heat loss from the room and there is a latent heat loss from the room so as this air will go into the room from this room there is the decrease in temperature s y that means there is a heat loss from the room and there is a latent heat also there is a loss of latent heat is also there s to e latent heat means there is a decrease in omega and there is decrease in the temperature so in this case sensible heat loss and latent heat loss both are there now this air will again send to this system in air conditioning system thus this is return air and this return air is the some part of the return air has gone outside that is exhaust air and some part has come to the system that is called the circulatory air and then from i again the process will repeat so when this is the working of winter air conditioning system for winter air conditioning system requirement is heating of air and humidification of air now what is the latent heat and sensible heat for this room let's see here qs what is the latent heat you know the latent heat you know sorry sensible heat this is the sensible heat law sensible heat depends on change in temperature so sensible heat loss will be and dot as this is mass flow rate of air at supply or of supply air mass flow rate of supply air into a specific heat domain specific heat that it is ps minus pi ps minus pi this process is happening in a room so this is the if i say if i draw like this there is a right angle triangle i have already told this one will be the this is ts and this is pi this one temperature difference this horizontal line will there will be a sensible heat loss as for latent heat loss this is s to e suppose this is, it is a point if i say x x to y is a sensible heat load s to x it is a latent heat load and this one is a latent heat load mass flow rate of supply air into latent heat into change in omega so then if i take it on a standard condition like the air at a standard condition that means 20 degree celsius driver temperature and 50% r 
So all the conditions, the formula, you know very well what will be the formula. Let it be put in that case will be 0 0.0204 CM will be delta K. Let it be, this is the sensible intro. And let it be put 50 into CM into delta omega. So then, this is the sensible intro and this is the latent intro in a room. If it is a room, this sensible intro and this is the latent intro in a room. So, friends, in this video, we have seen the working of winter air conditioning. I have explained all the system, how the process is going on in this on the psychometric chart. So, thanks for watching this video and have a good day.